wheat and uh, for, to make noodles here. They are getting it across India, the wheat. They are not cocoa here, there is no cocoa in Goa. Uh, that yet they are making chocolates. The, the global, one of the global uh, big, uh, almost they made I think 500 crore investment last year uh, in Goa plant, Nestle. So having said that, Goa without the raw material base can be a hub if incentives are given, if there is proper research and other, other coordination is done from the, on the state level as well as uh, uh, and there is proper support from the mass public because uh, as days go in, a lot of research from the from R&D can go into uh, into industry but it is a lot, a lot of perceptible issues among the common people, uh, general public sometimes opposing projects in, uh, in Goa and globally, I mean globally people look for jobs People look for jobs, uh, giving jobs is a huge incentive, but Goa has had that uh, uh, because people are more uh, environmentally active, so people tend to oppose, but then still units are coming, the last couple of years has been a slow decline, but I think that's across India, most of the units are whether uh, concerning your, our industry or generally speaking are going in the Ahmedabad. Delhi, uh, Ahmedabad, Mumbai and Pune sector and the second belt is, happens to be uh, Hosur, Bangalore and Chennai sector. That's where the large units are coming across India. Telangana has taken a lot of investments lately. Telangana is huge on investments right now. So having said that, the development across in India it has slowed down to a certain extent last couple of years. But it is research through to R&D research through uh, uh, what your people are doing, that alone can add value. See, I, I personally feel, and you correct me on this, whatever research you guys do, and it is taken up as IPR, and putting intellectual proper uh, property rights, I mean, that's how you make your money. As, a, as an industry, industry is not for charity per se, industry is to make money. So if the future belongs that you have a, a niche area of research, you get the property rights and then you can sit back and I think relax once the scale up is done. So that's how I think the whole concept of, uh, I'm not the judge, but a lot of big uh, shining lights across India who are the uh, new uh, rather than the bricks and mortar, steel and cement industries. These kind of industries like namely Biocon and other people have come up uh, in the last two decades. I'm sure Biocon, Dr. Goel would, uh, I don't know how long you, uh, Dr. Satran, you were there at Biocon for a long time, for 25 years. I'm sure uh, the initial five years, initial 10 years is what the made the uh, uh, real difference. Uh, we are graced with the Honorable uh, MLA, Sishitar Kumbhakar from uh, Siddharth Kumkalkar has also uh, the chairman of the Economic Development Co Council Corporation. Uh, welcome, sir, to gracing our occasion. Uh, having said that, the, basically, I welcome you all uh, for the function and I hope that the interaction. I personally am very curious to have a uh, interaction face to face. Smaller the group, more the interaction normally happens. So I request you all to be uh, omnipresent uh, and let us have a, a close knit, uh, not from a Goa perspective, but realize this is an Asian conference. It's a global conference. Uh, it is not what just Goa centric uh, because look at the, uh, the, the vision is uh, research and R&D and interaction with industry on a global perspective. Having said that, I thank Dr. Kamath and I thank Chamber for letting me be here uh, and I uh, hope uh, this interaction is more fruitful in the oncoming uh, some time. Thank you so much.
and many other activities and infrastructural development as well. He is also chairman of Goa State Industrial, uh, Goa State Infrastructural Development Corporation as well, and a very active MLA for that matter. And most important, he enjoys the full trust and faith and support of India's Defence Minister, Mr. Manohar Parikar, who has put this city on global map. Uh, India today survey reveals that Panjim is second richest town among 7,235 cities in India. The per capita income in Panjim is 2 lakhs rupees. Panjim banks have 30,000 crore rupees in bank deposits. So, this function is being taken place today in India's second richest town. And most importantly for those who are from corporates, Panjim city pays among 7,235 towns in India, 6th largest non-corporate income tax. So, we surpass even big cities like Baroda and Lucknow in payment of non-corporate income tax. So, with so much of wealth creation, wealth generation in Goa, you can see what will, what will be the future. So, please do not uh, uh, go by the number of people present here. There are people from industries here also. I see uh, Dr. Sharma from Unicame. Unicame shifted their entire research and development wing to Goa in Milan Industrial District. They have a very beautiful modern biosciences lab, which, which, is, which is very iconic. Uh, facilities in Goa for uh, pilot scale research. So, I will offer a few remarks because I was associated with policy making and uh, also headed a task force of government of Goa on food processing vision and <coughs> action plan and policy. Besides, another task force on biotech policy of which myself and Dr. Kurade were member. So, we have acted very closely with the political class and the decision makers over the last 15 years to put what we are actually discussing here and uh, expecting someone to put it in practice either in the academia or in the industries. But for that you have to bring together a lot of knowledge sets because mostly the academicians are restricted to their publications and the researchers in private R&D sector they are restricted to their patents and IPR and there is hardly any meeting of the minds and meeting of the various uh, sectors so that uh, ideas float and they are launched into executive actions. So what we have in Goa is we have got uh, English speaking uh, manpower or we are 98%, 95% literate except for few uh, migrants. Besides we have highly urbanized uh, state that is ranking first in the entire country in terms of percentage of people staying in the urban areas. So we are number one in urbanization. We are also on human development indicators behind Delhi, number two in India and in terms of literacy and other indicators also, especially in the health sector also, Goa has done extremely well. We have lowest birth rate and death rate in, uh, in India and uh, matching almost with Kerala. Our foreign exchange contribution by tourism and mining is uh, more than 25,000 crore rupees to the national exchequer. Of course, the mining has gone down and uh, as Dr. Kurade has rightly spoken, Yes, Goa is emerged as a pharmaceutical hub of the country and 10% of India's pharmaceutical exports are taking place from Goa. So, we can see this happening at Verna Industrial Estate. Now, the point is, as Dr. Kurade has rightly remarked, that this industry academia interaction which will be now coordinated by Dr. Sri Kumar will not be restricted only to a state specific or national specific action but basically to float some ideas because we have people like Professor Suryan Narayana who carries out carries a, a huge amount of experience and uh, he can go give a national as well as a global perspective. We have people from industries here, Dr. Raghumar here who has a background of um, very uh, expert background of working on marine fungi and having put National Institute of Oceanography on global map in terms of marine mycology, marine bioprospecting and uh, biotechnology. Today we have you know diversity of uh, Minds and diversity of expertises in, in, in on shop floor also in manufacturing area also and in lab also and also you know in industrial administration means uh, Dr. Gurade Zohari Foods and Farms. It was uh, it was very uh, it was a joy to work with him and learn from him and uh, his button mushroom factory has become a sort of a teaching ground for our uh, students of fermentation technology and fungal biotechnology as well over the last. 10-12 years and he has never said no when we actually use these facilities for research. 
Now Goa has given the whole Asia many things 